Hi there, Leo. Welcome to an end of 2023 wrap up tarot update. It's Rena here. This is a slightly different spread than I normally use. And uh, the reason I'm not showing myself laying out the cards is because I decided to start over. I made a little bit of a mistake and I, I just thought it would be better um, to do so. Like I normally do, I do have a card as the centerpiece that kind of talks about maybe the wisdom that you've acquired as we end this year based on things that have occurred. And this is the three of, um, I thought it was, you know, it's funny. It's the three of pentacles, the three of pentacles. And so in the workplace, the three of pentacles can be teamwork. So in other words, and by the way, Leo is a sign that's associated with leadership abilities. And unfortunately, I think too many people that have these skills who really have like a lot of executive abilities seem to think that it means that they have to be uh, in this position where they are kind of like telling other people what to do. When in fact, I think some of the best leaders are right there with the people that they are um, instructing and they're not like placing themselves so high above the other person. So that's kind of what, what I get about this card. And maybe you have learned that. I don't want to say the hard way, but perhaps in some cases that has been true. But also, this is a card of abundance. You know, pentacles relate to material matters. And the number three is definitely expansive. We also have the magician as the one of the past influences of 2023. That is about conscious co-creation, meaning that it's intentional. The person is going after what it is that they want and they're believing that they can manifest it. How does this pertain to Leos? I believe that a lot of Leos are financially abundant, but I don't know how many of them necessarily work for themselves because I think some of them may be um, too in need of that kind of guarantee that a steady paycheck provides that they might kind of shy away from working for themselves because, you know, truth be told, if you work for yourself, you can't guarantee that you're going to make X amount of money every week. Even if you have some kind of subscription service, people can cancel, you never know. Um, but if there, if something has been on your heart that has to do with a certain product a certain service that you wish to offer, or maybe you have wanted to become an actor, a performer of some kind, and you have just been trying to fit into a world that you don't fit into. Um, you, if you haven't taken the steps to make this happen, you might be like really on the verge of doing so. And the other card that we have for 2023 is the Daughter of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. And that can indicate some kind of, um, idea that has been germinating that, per what is it, percolating, uh, and that you have been wanting to enact but that doesn't mean that you have done so. Perhaps you have procrastinated. Perhaps other life situations have arisen that have kind of pushed back this uh, situation for you. And, per, you know, if this reading kind of uh, validates some of those things for you, then all the better. I realize this is not going to be for every Leo and I'm not trying to offend anyone, but if you have been involved in a three-way relationship, uh, a lover's triangle, if you will, that, um, you didn't sign up for either you're being cheated on or you are, uh, involved with someone 
maybe you're going outside of your relationship or they're going outside of theirs. Uh, so any of those permutations, that could be the three of pentacles. And what what those, the magician and the, I think with, with the um, page of pentacles, I don't like to say daughter because I know some of you will be confused by that. And I get confused by it too, because that's not the typical name for it. But the page of pentacles to me can be a change in the way that you think about something um, that has to do with pentacles can even be the body or sex. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the page is the, is the communication, but thoughts about that, the way that you go about things. Uh, also, maybe there is someone in your life that has come in who is a grounding influence on you. Pentacles can be like that sense of grounding. If you've been with somebody who is very flaky or uh, unreliable, and that has its own drama that's attached to it, and you realize, I can do better. I can attract better the magician. Three cards for 2024. The first one is the Father of Wands, which is the King of Wands. And I often think of Leo when I think of this card. I think of the, uh, well, I was going to say the alpha male energy. I know some people might not like that, that depiction. Uh, but, you know, too bad because there is the divine masculine that has that kind of outward show of strength. And strength isn't, you know, I, obviously it can be physical strength, but what I'm talking about is really about a sense of self, a sense of autonomy, a sense of being self-directed, which means that if we're talking about, it's right under the magician, creating a life for yourself that feels authentic to you, that doesn't feel like you're, it's like a cookie cutter life that you're living because you think that's what you're supposed to do, but something that really is for you, that card is like, you can make it look easy. I actually think it might be connected to Leo, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, I don't know if Sag has been associated with it, but definitely it is a fire energy and fire is very independent, but that sense of being self-empowered. The justice card. Yes. I mean, that's a very important aspect of this because, um, it's right below the three of pentacles. Maybe you've been trying to keep something together that is not, um, for you. Even Leo's can tolerate a situation where you're with somebody who is cheating. For instance, it seems like it wouldn't be a thing because Leo's, you know, we think of Leo's as being very proud, but Leo is a fixed sign. That's why it is associated with being loyal, but it can also like continuity. And yet, if you are with someone who is tearing you down by, you know, even if they're not treating you badly in the way that they interact with you, if they're, for instance, if they're cheating on you, that can tear away at your self-esteem, chip away at your self-esteem and make you question, um, your worth, which is not, not cool. Another thing that can happen is that It may be something to do with fairness too, which is the justice card. The justice card is connected to the sign of Libra and the scales of justice. Um, so I do think in some readings, even the King of Wands, you know, to me can be, you know, that desire to be free. And the justice card can be connected to the loss of somebody's going through some kind of legal matter. But the bottom line is that you want to feel like you have this kind of uh, sovereignty. The magician is 
creating for themselves. The magician isn't doing the bidding for someone. The, you know, you are the main, you're the star of your own movie. You, you know, but a lot of times we're playing the bit parts, aren't we? Because you might be working for somebody else's dream and you might do a good job, but it's not your dream. And, you know, people deserve to feel like they are doing something that is really, that they are aligned with and that they are passionate about. But yeah, I think the justice card could be for some people that they are ending a union, uh, maybe seeking justice for anything that has, has felt, um, you know, kind of like, no, not so much seeking justice, but balance in their life. If you've been a workaholic, which some Leos <laughs> definitely are. And, uh, the mother of wands, which is the queen of wands. So I have the king and the queen of wands here for 2024. This is that same sense of confidence that the king of wands exudes in the way that they're promoting their own endeavors, but this is more on the internal level. And just like your emotional level, the, the, uh, the mother represent or the queen represents the water element and the wands represent the fire. And both of these are emotional, but one is more outer directed, the fire and more because it's masculine. So this is, you know, you being that cheerleader for others, and that can be part of what is going on. Maybe you've been wrapped up in a toxic relationship and you haven't been there for your friends lately. You haven't been there for, um, you know, the people in your life that matter to you. And maybe you've just been kind of in this state of drama. And this is about really nurturing others by inspiring them. So somebody who is in that position of authority, they're doing so from a very enthusiastic place. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, you can find out more information about my um, astrology package deals, uh, and what kind of readings I offer at the link below. I'm at rainandmoonastrology.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.